Doug Ford just wants to make life better for his wealthy friends. That's why he's wasting upwards of a billion dollars of Ontario's money to fast track privatize alcohol sales and hand over more public revenues generated by the LCBO over to CEOs and big box grocery and convenience chains like Circle K and 7-Eleven. The LCBO strike in Ontario is a perfect example of the way Canadians are treated like ATM machines by the government and its institutions. This is definitely one of the darker sides of living in a heavily socialized economy. Ultimately, this video will serve as part of a series on the many areas both provincial governments and the federal government need to start privatizing. The deep dive on privatization is for another video. Today, we're simply going to compare what Americans pay for the top four selling spirits in Ontario versus what Ontarians pay. The difference is shocking, as you're about to see. If more Ontarians knew just how much more they pay than people who buy their alcohol in the private sector, the LCBO would have almost zero support from the public for their strike. While inflation has indeed been a lot higher in the past few years, the exorbitant markup charged to Ontarians on alcohol has been in place long before the pandemic happened. So let's get to it. I've picked the four spirits the LCBO has listed as its top sellers. I omitted the number two bestseller, JP Weiser's, on the grounds that it isn't sold in the US and therefore we can't draw a comparison. So that leaves us with, in order of sales rank, Smirnoff Vodka, Crown Royal, Bacardi, and Captain Morgan. I'm not comparing them in that given order though. We're going to take a look at each one based on the size of the price difference, starting from smallest to largest. The size of every format we're looking at is 1.75 liters. So buckle in because here we go. First up is Crown Royal, which is manufactured right here in Canada. If Americans want a piece of this action, they have to import it. So how are they doing price-wise then? Still better than us for a drink we make and that they import. How much does Walmart charge for it? $41.98 American, which comes out to $57.27 Canadian. How much does the LCBO charge? $69.95. Price difference? $12.68 for a total of 22% more. This brings us to Captain Morgan. Walmart in the US will charge you $22.98, which comes out to $31.34 Canadian. How much does the LCBO charge? $71.45. Total difference? Ontarians pay $44.11 more for a difference of 128%. We're not done yet, we still have two to go, and the next one is Bacardi. Walmart in the US will charge you $19.98, which comes out to $27.25 Canadian. The LCBO's price? $71.95. Price difference? $44.70. That's 164% more. But we still have one more liquor to go, and the price difference is even more than this. Last up is Smirnoff Vodka. If you're buying this bottle of Smirnoff Vodka from Walmart in the US, you're paying $18.98 American, which comes out to $25.89 Canadian. How much is the LCBO charging? $69.95 for a difference of $44.06 for a total difference of 170%. So how do you feel right now? I mean, if Smirnoff Vodka happens to be your favorite drink, how do you feel about the fact that you're paying more than double for the exact same booze? Part of the problem is with the LCBO's automatic 139.7% markup. When the LCBO buys a 750 milliliter bottle of whiskey, for example, from the supplier, they're buying it for $7.08. The first added cost to that bottle of whiskey is the federal excise, which comes out to $3.99. Then the LCBO also adds a 50 cent fee to cover that given bottle's shipping cost. It's only after that initial markup that the LCBO applies its 139.7% markup. So they're not just marking up the base cost, they're also applying the markup to taxes. So in other words, you're paying tax on taxes. So that bottle of whiskey they got for $7.08 is already costing the consumer $15.53, but they're still not done adding more costs. By the time all is said and done, the consumer is paying $30.75 for a bottle of whiskey that costs the LCBO $7.08 to procure. Walmart, on the other hand, only marks up its items by 33%. If ever there was an argument for privatization, it couldn't be made clearer than with this example. 
Anyone who still supports the LCBO after seeing just how much more they pay is clearly a privileged individual who has never had to budget their money. How do you feel? Is it time for Ottawa and the provinces to go on a privatization spree? If you're okay with paying 170% more for your liquor, let us know why in the comments. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already.